Welcome to the driver's seat and the launch of the 10th generation 2018 Honda Accord. We're just outside of Mount Washington, New Hampshire, a beautiful resort area, a lot of challenging roads, a perfect place to launch this vehicle. This is the 10th generation. They've been doing this car for 41 years. They've sold over 13 million in America and 11 million of those were built in America. This car continues to be on Car and Drivers, 10 best list, a record over 30 times. And as you can see, a whole new exterior, new interior, but the big news is what's under the hood, a pair of turbo four cylinder engines. And for a company who didn't have a single turbo in their lineup three years ago, they have now gone to an all turbo philosophy. The base engine is a 1.5 liter four cylinder turbo producing 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque. It's made it to either a six speed manual or a CVT. This engine is the two liter turbo. It produces 252 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. The automatic is a 10 speed automatic and you can get it in a six speed manual, which is what we're driving today. What's neat about both these engines is that you can get all of that torque at 1500 RPMs, making this the fastest Accord ever. A few months ago, Honda revealed the Accord. We were there, we shot a video, and received a lot of negative feedback about the styling. I gotta tell you, after spending a day with it, it's really growing on me. So it all starts up front with this new grill. Yes, it resembles the Civic, but that's by design because this is the new face of the family. Get used to it. I like it. It really works. The car in general is lower. It's wider. The wheelbase is longer, but the overall car is shorter, yet it's roomier. Really impressive stuff from Honda. Another big change is the coupe is gone. It only represented about 6% of sales. If you miss the coupe, too bad it's gone. But what we have here is this A-pillar. It's been moved back four inches to give this coupe-like appearance, or coupe, as a lot of you like to say, and it works. This car really has that kind of Audi A7, A5 sportback look, yet it's priced starting at 23,000. You would think with a lower roof line that you would lose a lot of space, not so much with the Accord. The interior volume has been increased by 2.4 cubic feet, but they didn't stop there. The trunk, one of the best in the business, in fact, the best cargo volume in the segment, an increase of 0.9 cubic feet. And if you look at the trunk of the hybrid, you would expect to lose a lot of cargo space because of the battery pack. You don't lose any cargo space. Okay, most of you are not gonna do that with your midsize sedan. However, we purposely picked this six-speed manual version of the two-liter turbo because Accord is one of the last to offer a manual in this segment. Mazda offers one, but that's pretty much it. You look at all the competitors, Camry doesn't offer one, Hyundai Sonata doesn't offer one, but I like the fact that Honda kind of stayed true to its roots. Now, even though it's a small take rate, it does make it a lot more fun. And it's not gonna cost you anything. It used to be that the automatic was more expensive, but now, it's basically negligible, so there's no difference in price. Overall, really enjoyed the driving dynamics of this Accord. They really tightened it up, they stiffened it up. The car just feels so much better than the old model and so much better than their competitors from a driving perspective. This steering wheel is all new. It's a very hefty, beefy steering wheel. It's very sporty. And another thing I like about Honda is that you get the same steering wheel and all the trim levels. You've got an all new infotainment system. This is the same system that they introduced in the Odyssey uh, about six months ago. And it works. It's a very uh, fast acting infotainment system. It's also very intuitive. And of course you have Apple CarPlay, you have wireless charging, everything you would expect. When you get to the Touring model, which is kind of the Mac Daddy of all the trims, uh, it has every single option, even head-up display, which i got to tell you, it's a very vivid one. And again, a lot of car companies don't offer that in this segment. Now, in the past, it's been easy to recommend the Accord just because it's a great car, great resale value, very reliable. But now you can add fun to drive, and that is a very important factor for people who want to do more than just commute. They've even lowered the seat and the hit point. So they've really focused on the driver to get in lower, uh, feel like they're in a sportier vehicle. And it works because actually the center of gravity is lower than the outgoing model. 
even though we're driving the manual, we know that it's the 10-speed automatic and the 2-liter and the CVT and the 1.5-liter that are going to be the high-volume transmissions. And they're really solid. I'm not a huge fan of any CVT, but Honda is the least worst CVT out there. It just you know, still makes a little bit of a whiny noise, but it's way better than the competitors, especially when you look at something like the Nissan Altima. But that 10-speed automatic, that is nothing short of brilliant. It's very fuel efficient, but it's also very sporty. There's a sport mode, and it does make a difference in the shift point. So take a look at that but buy the manual if you know how to drive one. It, it is gonna make your commute a lot more fun. There's clearly a lot riding on the all-new Accord for Honda. In fact, they brought out three competitive vehicles, the Sonata, the Fusion, and the all-new Camry. The Camry just came out a few months ago. We really liked it, but I gotta tell you, this is a very sporty vehicle. It has great handling, great driving dynamics. There's even adaptive suspension in the Touring model. You know, when you look at the segment, there are a lot of great options, but I think Honda is one of the few that's going to appeal to the sporty side, but also to the conservative side. For example, Honda Sensing, all those safety features are now standard on all trim levels of the Accord. They've kept the price to a manageable starting price of $23,000. I like that they've kept the price similar to the outgoing model. I think the entire segment should really be nervous because Honda has rededicated itself to making the Accord once again the leader of the segment. I'm Ron Dorn. We'll see you next time on the driver's seat.